Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again Collectibles. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're going to be taking a look at this Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1988 Original Series 4-Pack. Uh, I picked this up from a local GameStop uh, that's currently going out of business. I saw it in there. I had my on it. It is 30% off. Uh, the original price tag on it was $40. So I got a hell of a deal on this thing. Uh, there's the sides. As you can see, I have already taken them out of the packaging. Uh, but there's a side. As you can see, there's Leonardo, looks like, and Michelangelo. Then on the other side, Donatello and Raphael. And then the top there, the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo. Bottom. Then there's the back. Uh... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Nickelodeon, 1988 original series, about the turtles, catapulted from indie comic origins to superstardom by the original M Murakami Wolf Swenson animated series. TMNT ran on air for nearly a decade, 1987 to 1996, and ranked number one in ratings for an unprecedented five straight years. Featured in over 190 episodes, the fun-loving, shell-kicking teens are still recognized around the world and celebrated by fans with every bite of pizza. You've got Michelangelo, Leonardo, Donatello, and Raphael. Now, when I originally took these guys out of the box, out of this box, uh, they felt smaller than the originals. Uh, I was unable to find... Uh, my, the original uh, Raphael that we've got, but I do have the Samurai Leonardo to compare them to. And they are just a slight bit smaller. Uh, and that's not even giving leeway for the helmet. Because, of course, the helmet's going to make them make him bigger than him. But compared to the top of his head, uh, where his head would end underneath the helmet. They are uh, just a little bit smaller. So we'll go ahead and show you that. Here's Leonardo. As you can see. And we'll put him where he would be if he had the uh, sandals on. Just a tiny bit. Not, not a lot. Not super noticeable. But I could tell because I've I've handled these figures. Uh, we have one of the original Raphaels uh, with the squishy head around here. In fact, we did a video on it. I don't know if it got transferred over from the Comageddon TV channel or not. I'm still transferring videos over. Uh, but to see that... Go on over to Come Again TV right here on YouTube, and you can find that there. But let's go ahead and set him off to the side for right now. We have Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, and Michelangelo. Mikey! All right, so let's go ahead and set this down. So you can see here's display in the background here. Um, these are my wife's figures and her pops. We redid the office. And now she has nowhere to put her pops. So they're right there. And I don't really have much of a background to do these reviews on. That's why I'm kind of doing it off to the side. Um, but anyway. Here's Donatello. Leonardo, Raphael, and Michelangelo. And I do believe these are in the original color tones of the originals, as well as the original heads. Uh, as you can see, Michelangelo Angelo only has the teeth in one side showing. Raphael has both teeth, the teeth all the way around showing. 
which kind of makes me think that when they did this Leonardo, they actually used the head sculpt of Raphael and then put the helmet on there, painted it blue. Have you guys ever noticed that before? Let me know in the comments below if you noticed that before. I don't, I can't remember if I did or not. It's been a while. But let's go ahead and see, as you can see, I do think that these are the uh, correct shades from the originals. You got the kind of a forest green look from Mikey with his orange. Uh, kind of a lighter green for Raph with his red. Then you have a darker, more muted green for Leonardo. And Donatello is pretty much completely brown, it looks like. They could have added a little bit of green in there. Um, but yeah, he's mostly brown. And I can't remember if that's uh, the same way as the original or, or not. I do remember that Donatello was... A shade of brown maybe with some green mixed in uh, I could be wrong on that but I do know he was a shade of brown and there he has his purple bandana well violet actually uh, most people get that wrong that is not purple that shade is not actually purple uh, Donatello does not wear a purple headband and pads he actually wears violet. Uh, purple looks more pinkish, really. It's a darker shade of pink. Uh, whereas violet is more of a, a slight mix of red and a lot more blue than red. So anyway... Let's go ahead and, well, since we got Donatello here, we'll take a look at him first. They do come with their weapons. Uh, their weapons were already in hand in the package. And it does, they do look just like the original weapons. Here we have, and it does look like his sash does come off and it is the original with the cross um, I'm not going to take it off because I've always had a hell of a time putting these back on after I've taken them off and I really don't want to risk ripping them or breaking the little peg but his staff it fits in there really snugly and I would be leery because the under the bottom one is a lot smaller. You have an easy chance of ripping that. But there he is with his staff in his uh, sash, and the wrist or the forearm does flip around. The uh, hands do not move, but the forearm does. Just like the originals, the arm rotates all the way back, all the way around. Uh, same with the other side. The head is not the rubbery ones that from the original, uh, the original production. Uh, it is the harder plastic. Um, the shells are very smooth which I can't remember if the originals were that smooth or not. I, I want to say they weren't, but I could be wrong. Uh, there's the back. It, it feels like they use a different type of plastic for these two. Um, it does seem very hollow inside. Then the legs. Just the one joint right there at the shell. No waist or no waist movement, 
the head does turn very nice. Try and find the right stance for him. I was worried about that. If I moved the legs, I wouldn't be able to get them back in. But there we go. Just like that. Lean him against there for right now. Uh, move these guys back. We'll take a look at Leonardo. Um, this sash is not the same as the original, I want to say, because Leonardo always had the two straps on the same side. Uh, they never made an X in the middle. Uh, they were always on the same side. And I believe that's the way the uh, original figure was as well. So I think what they did, they just took Donatello's sash, painted an L on there, and then put this thing on the back. Because as you can see, it is it was a separate piece that got, uh, looks like maybe glued on there. Maybe. Um, and he does have the teeth showing on the one side. More of a... Whereas Donatello had more of an angry looking eyes. Leonardo has more kind of worried, I guess. With katanas, the shorter end is the blade, the sharp edge, and the higher end is the uh, back side. Let's go ahead and take these out of his hand, out of his hands, and we'll plug them into. And you do have to be careful with these because just like with the originals, the blade is a very thin, warpy plastic, uh, somewhat brittle. Um, but mainly why you want to worry because if you bend them too much, they will stay in that shape. I've had swords where they were very uh, wavy in the past. Same articulation as Donnie. Exact same. Um, the only real difference is the head. Uh, everything else is the same. Exact same body sculpt. Well, no. Maybe the body sculpt is the exact same, but the arms are definitely a different sculpt, as you can tell by the veins in the arms. Donnie's veins, as you can see, Single vein coming down that splits into two, into two veins there. I don't know if you can see that. And then with Leonardo's veins, there are two veins coming down that come into one, merge into one, and then split back off into two. And then two veins coming down on this side, merging into just the one. So they are, maybe the bodies are the same sculpt, but the arms, it looks like, are completely different sculpts. So, yeah. It does look like that because, as we'll see on Raphael, his arms, his arm sculpts, are completely different as well. You've got two veins running down into one on this side and then one vein running down into two on this side very cool maybe maybe those arms are the exact same but the other ones are not they are different sculpts 
uh, and he does come with the size and his eyes. It's a very blood red type mask and pads, don't you think? Uh, his size do go right into his belt. Just like that. And I'm not sure if you can or not. Uh, I wouldn't want to risk it. In, in the cartoon, he did hold his size like that. Uh, but normally, in the later cartoons, the size are usually held in between the fingers. Like they're supposed to be held in real life. Either way is fine, but in these... You do have to put them in his fist like that. Uh, they cannot be held between the fingers like they're like they are in later uh, later cartoon series. Go ahead and put those in his belt for now. And the legs on him are a completely different sculpt because, as you can see, they're both flat, whereas with Leonardo. And Donatello, the right feet are kind of uh, angled upward, while the left feet are flat. And on Mikey, it's the reverse, which we'll go ahead and take a look at Mikey now. Um, and Raph does have the very angry eyes, uh, even angrier looking than Donatello's. But Mikey's got more of the um, maybe half angry, half party dude look. Look at him from this side. Party! Looking at him from this side. Angry eyes. Party eyes. Angry eyes. Party eyes. Angry eyes. <laughs> and he's got the nunchucks here. And as I said, this leg is a different sculpt from the others. It's brought back. And his nunchucks, nun chucks, sorry, do go. I'm almost afraid of doing this. Because as you can see, this is very thin. And I'm worried about putting them in there snapping them but this would not be a very thorough review if I did not at least attempt it there we go we got one in got one Let's give the other one a try. And let's hope I do not break the center. Alright, there's one. Alright. That one went in a lot smoother. <laughs> There we have his nunchuck nunchucks on the back. I always I've always wanted to say numchucks with an M. Numchucks. No, it's nunchucks. N U N. Not N U M. Uh, but there you have Mikey. You do kind of have to lean him forward a little bit in order to get him to stand. Pair him with the others. There's Raph. Mikey, Leo, and Donnie. Let's uh, see if we can get him to stand on his own. He's kind of, nope, he's kind of leaning up against. There. I have to spread him apart a little bit more. But there you have it, guys. Nickelodeon's. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1988 original series. Uh, as you can see on YouTube, TMNT Toys, Facebook, TMNT Play. Uh, this is from Playmates. 
the ones who made the original line of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures back when I was a kid, back in 1988, was when these originally came out. I was in first grade at the time. Imagine that. First grade when these guys came out. Uh, I went back and forth on these guys, whether I wanted to get these or not. Because it said $40 on the price tag. And it didn't say how, what percentage that they were going to be off. Uh, actually, I do believe I ended up with a 30% off price tag on this on these guys. So I did end up getting them. Like I said, I went back and forth probably 10, 10 times before I decided to get them. And I am glad I did. Let's go ahead and bring Sewer Samurai Leonardo in here. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.